of people talk who like to talk to find out how little they know. Man, what are you saying? Let's just talk about the game. Oh, quick hook here. Hades pulled away from his purple and they're so delayed. Oh, it's not gonna be good for Black International. Considering again, Sully Boy, he's kind of picked up a hero who does well into the Akai. You wanna farm fast? Bane does it better. Heck, you should know. You've been playing, you've been spamming the Bane every single game. Yep, I've been playing Bane for the better part of 48 hours. And folks, <laughs> my win rate is through the roof. He's actually rocking an assassin uh, roll emblem here. And oh wait, down bottom, Red Energy might get punished. Okay, a lot of damage placed on. Interestingly enough, this time around for the Brody, we saw a lethal ignition Brody uh, just in the last series here. It's actually the killing spree Brody that's weird that we're gonna be seeing here from Nino. Much better, I like this. Now, Ooh. forcing out a flicker early on from the Hitman, and there's a hook! Beautiful iron hook into the deadly catch that, no, he didn't even use the deadly catch. Nope. That's the amount of damage you do, base damage alone, and for Selly Boy on this Bane. Wait, 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 it's wait. It's a wait. quantum charge. It is, and then he's going for an early a uh, hunter strike, or I don't know. Fury what, what, hammer. What, uh, hmm. Yeah, can is it? It's a fury hammer for now. Uh, but what is interesting is he's wow. rocking. Uh, is that quantum charge? Mm -hmm. That you is quantum charge. You mentioned quantum charge and a seasoned hunter and penetration. The, I love it. I love it. Now Ren and Jay looking for some revenge. Heavy spin. Good heavy spin over to Selly Boy, putting him down. But that's what the deadly catch is for. Good disengage for now, using the bounce properly. But that's going to be the breath of the ocean connecting there onto the back, zoning Oheb away. It's still first blood, or the first kill for Blacklist, rather, as they go for another. Rasti, definitely two overextended will fall as well, giving two kills for free. Oh, that was unfortunate. I saw a pathing for which Selly Boy could have survived, but I'm guessing he read into the situation and thought there were members of Blacklist down to the south. He instead went to the west, and that's what allowed for a few couple hits from Blacklist to actually take him down. So yeah, that gives Blacklist a small lead here. 300 gold. Pie and Edward uh, skittish to go for the pull, and instead it's Edward Balboa going for it, and a couple members of Blacklist coming through. Yeah, this does look like a clean turtle take over the Blacklist. They gotta capitalize on this. They just found two good picks down below, and Hades with the Akai. This is what you can expect. Using a heavy spin, just get free turtles across the board, unless Pi somehow is able to steal this, but no, not gonna be able to do so. Good retribution to secure it. First turtle going to Blacklist International. Yep, would have been too much. I like how Hades, after game one, trying something from the old patch or the old form the old man oh wait Rossi was waiting bloody hunt but into the fatal links bring him back deadly catch the zone away as Nino just chunks the turret down oh, getting oh, all oh. of the gold shield Haji walking forward getting spotted Whoa. there now your hook onto the back that's the torn apart memory ready and it will connect onto the back good damage here as Haji moves forward terrifying Nino but Nino was able to escape just with the kiss Mm, it was but maximum range on that torn apart memory. They're not done. They're still here. There's another hook. Oh, Nino's still able to escape right now. Rossi will take a lot of that damage to the rough waves. Nino's still able to survive somehow as the heavy spin pins oh. him down. But Udil finds another. Now pinned down once again. Oheb dealing the damage with the Impure Rage emblem. And it's two kills over to the Filipino Sniper. Yep. They're picking up the pace, and as they should, because Alter Ego are actually falling into it. And here, it's Blacklist who steps on the clutch, all the while Alter Ego steps on the gas even more, and they thought that they could have pummeled through, but they were missing a key piece. If Chelly Boy was part of that fight, maybe he built his Hunter Strike here, and a deadly catch would have been great for that four-man engaged down bottom. And all this while, there's an island to the top for Pi and Edward, so really not much going to do there. They're just going to try and... Uh, fight each other, cut waves if they can. It looks like mid and bot are where a lot of the action is going to happen. And I think this is where Hades can actually work to, how do we say, redeem himself from game one. This is Akai now, four minutes in, is doing wonders. He's putting so much pressure on the map just by standing there menacingly. And you can see with a heavy spin, good disengage as well. Iron hook, not connecting. Hades still able to space out of that one as Nino tries his best to clear out this wave. Should it be okay? Sunny Boy waiting in the bush, just chunking Hades down, but the shielding is just way too much. Oh. Final slash and a deadly catch to cancel out the engage from Rene J. Black International zoned away. Good bounce over to Hades, taking him down to half HP. Yep, say what you will about Paquito and the way that he's so much stronger in this current patch, but if you're facing an Arlet that's rocking not only the base tank emblem, but also a brave smite, you best believe you're gonna have to question, hey, is that worth my buff? Is that worth my combo in my Nabi?
It might not be. At uh, this time for Blacks International, it's completely the opposite of what happened last time oh. around. Good rough wave. Fatal legs across the wall to bring Udil in. A good final slash to disengage, but Rossi still will take a lot of that damage, taking him down for the third time in this game. But I do want to talk a little bit about Oheb's choice of emblem here. The Impure Rage with the on-hit mana uh, restoration is going to be great for him, you know? Uh, especially without the Avarice, without a few of those emblem, with the emblem changes, mana is a big problem for this Claude in the laning phase. And all the more he has to stay in the lane, right? You're not farming as quickly, so you need to see all the minions, all the creeps that you can. If ever uh, Hades does say, hey, you can take the small cap over here, it's yours, champ. Looking at the item build so far on early Athena's shield, for Hades, uh, Clock of Destiny, uh, plus uh, I'm assuming a book on the way here for Haji. And then on the other end, it's a Chelly Boy still with a big one. Fatal Link! On to Nino, frozen down. A good blazing duet as well. Just capitalizing on that big play as another conceal comes through. Hades with a heavy spin now pinning Rossi down. Haji and Oheb going at it. Oh. Rossi cannot do anything. The focusing mark does his job in the back. Oheb still able to purify out a good deadly catch, but it's a two man from the perfect match. Finds two. On the board, Haji picks up a double kill, and Blacklist International looking great in game number two. It looks like Pi here looking to bump into some stragglers. And yeah, given the uh, aforementioned emblem set and the behavior of one Oheb, he's on top of the gold a lead here. He's 51k, uh, 5100 rather. Uh, and uh, Shelly Boy is just following up to him. Shelly Boy actually is building full damage bane. Uh, I myself have my preferences, but he's doing well here, especially with how fast Blacklist has Red propelled themselves on destroyed. forward. Now 20, uh, 20, 200, 2300 up ahead. And now it looks like at least here's one way we can say Alter Ego is ahead. Here's how we can say Alter Ego is stronger. Not team fights, but taking turrets and moving through the map. Blacklist have been doing a very good job at shutting Nino down from the early stage to stop the mid-game power spike from happening. Uh, but the thing is, for Alter Ego, despite all that effort, Nino should still hit the mid-game oh power spike in the 8th to ninth minute, as the turtle should go to them for free. Once again, I think even despite the shutdown going on to Nino, he still should be able to find that power spike earlier than Oheb, who has to wait for the corrosion scythe. Yep, and uh, given that there is still a Franco, you know the saying, right? You know how the adage goes, you can miss 99 hooks, but the one that changes the game, plus the bite, can be all the more worth it. So yeah, watch out for Rassi, he was so hot in game one, means he's not out just yet. Chelly Boy just picks up his sad sword here, Blade of Spare on this Bane. Crab Claw Cannon is going to be so nasty. Oh, the, the, those ricochets, watch out for them. So given how Blacks International is playing with range so much and how they're trying to displace the members of Alter Ego, if they don't displace Chelly Boy, fights can turn around like that. It's going to be very hard for Blacklist International to actually look for a proper siege here because their composition relies heavily on that big engage from Renegade. Mm -hmm. As long as Alter Ego keep their distance, it's going to be very, very hard to siege these turrets down. Pi, ooh, almost getting baited oh no. in now. Spotted in. Renegade with a perfect match. Pi with a final slash, but it's cancelled out with the Fatal Links. Pi still able to flicker out from the rough waves right now as Hades jumps in with a heavy spin, pinning Rossi down, but Silly Boy with a Whoa. pink turn maneuver onto the back. Now a blazing duet from Oheb to zone them away. Still, turret safely taken, safely defended by Alter Ego. Not much Blacklist achieved in that team fight. And they're actually the ones who are just poked off. Yeah, they're backing off. And now look, all three are gonna have their way with this tier one in mid. And they're are they gonna do it. They're doing Ooh. Oh no, Hades secures it. So yeah, no, that's impressive given how Blacklist was the one who was actually ahead in gold. Just barreling forward with these kills, four to nine. And if you look at the map, it's like Alter Ego never missed. It's like Alter Ego never got punished down bottom. It's looking grim here for Blacklist International, especially considering that item power spike is very close here. For Nino, the changes to the Endless Battle makes it so the Brody will go for the Endless Battle instead of the usual Hunter Strike or Heptasy's second item to the BOD. Once he gets this, expect a lot of damage and not just burst, but some good DPS in these team fights. Yep, and if these fights last a while, you can expect that he will stay given his rock and killing spree, mm -hmm. right? So if he one taps with a fully stacked torn apart memory, Blacks International, if they miss that entry with Renegade, if they miss that isolation play with with Hades, or if nobody gets bursted down by Edward or he takes a little too long, then yeah, this could be a turnaround. Now Lord here, 
Let's begin to dance. How about it? Hades going for the pull. I wonder if they know if Renege is here. Oheb taking the Y bush. Look at, at this river. Look at the control from Rasi and Udil. We've seen better games from Kadita. Oh, hey, there's a hook. Good iron hook. Oh, he forces the heavy spin. That's massive. Renegade's looking for a play right now. Whoa. Nino has a flicker, but asking the flicker. Fade lanes only connecting onto two. Good disengage from Udil onto the back. Isolating that's oh. a torn apart memory. And a double kill for Nino. Rasi with the iron hook finds Oheb, brings him oh. back to the Sharks. And it's all just nom 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 as the deadly catch takes him out. Haji, the only member left standing. Alter Ego had coin flip back to a lead. They took him under the sea, and just like that, it's just Haji left. All he can do is watch. He was actually in that fight, and he was just lucky enough to get away. Chelly Boy going for the Lord. Waves being pushed in. Pi makes the most of Edward's absence, taking this top lane tier one. Bottom lane is going to be repaired soon. Alter Ego are now ahead. They're looking at a major lead here. This is as Big as a 3k gold lead can look like at under 12 minutes. Let's look at that instant replay Ooh. once more, all right? So you said it was massive that they forced out the uh, heavy spin. And yeah, this was a flicker, fatal links, but just the same when it came down to it, Alter Ego was ready and it was right under their turret. So it's not impossible that Blacklist took maybe one or two big turret hits. That movement speed as well, just from the killing spree. Once you get a kill, <laughs> oh, 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 you just, you become Usain Bolt. You're really fast, you walk them down and Really, there was nothing Blackness International could do after utilizing all their disengage and engage re re resources. Yep, Chelly Boy and Nino's heroes look like Mardis. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what Mardis yeah. looked like? <laughs> so, that being said, Blacks International here, it's not over just quite yet. This is just but a level one lord, and they have great high ground defense, and they can punish, right? They can punish. Aww. Especially with Rene Jane. Here's a quick heavy spin. But, oh, wait, Red and Jay! A flicker in, but Nino still untouched. Good positioning right now as he popped in the tour apart. Memory finding a kill. Killing spree on, they're running it down, and it's another kill over to Pi. Haji with a good disengage. But once again, the damage coming in from the duo. Sally Boy and Nino is too much to handle. Hades now, the only one left standing, jumping forward, only to get bloody hunted down. And it's a wipeout for Alter Ego as they take the base to find a 2-0 clean sweep against Blacklist International.